welcome to CNC Square One. Um, today I'm just going to finish off the last couple of videos that I've done because uh, I forgot to mention about um, the settings that you need to set up to make homing or the hard limits work. Um, so yeah, these are my um, gerbil settings and the ones that we're interested in are uh, $1.21 now that turn if you set that to zero then your hard limits are off if that set that to a one then that turns your hard limits on which means that if your machine touches the micro switches it will stop um, and then the other one is homing that is dollar 22 if you want to turn homing on you have to make that equal to one and then the other important and sometimes confusing setting is the $1.23 the homing um, direction invert mask yeah <laughs> right basically um, that uses uh, it uses a um, binary code to work out how you want this thing to home um, simply put Binary number is eight digits long. It's either each digit is either zero or one. Um, we, for this, are only going to use the last three digits. Now, the very last digit is your Z axis. The second to last is Y axis, and the third to last is the X axis. Um, so basically, if you were, if you set your dollar um, twenty three to zero. Um, so that's saying that you don't want to invert any of your axes and when these machines home they go to the positive number so it will positive Z so it will raise it all the way up to the top and positive X so it will go all the way that way and positive Y all the way that way so in the end it would be homed in that far corner over there obviously I wanted mine to be here and I wanted it to be the Z to go all the way to the top because that's where my micro switch uh, triggers and also it laid um, two changes and stuff like that so basically my um, invert mask has to be I want to keep Z the same I don't want to invert Z so that's the very last no sorry the third to last digit is a one for mine and I do want to invert the X and the Y axis so that they come all the way to this corner here and so that means that the last two digits for me are one so basically converting that 0 1 1 of the last three digits into a binary a decimal number that is a 3 so basically my settings are $23 equals 3 and that is where it will home to. Here is um, the diagram. You can find this online. I'll put a link to it on the bottom of the description, um, showing you all the values for the um, invert mask. Now, mine is the fourth one down, which is which is um, decimal three, and that inverts my x and my y and doesn't invert my z and this is where it homes to with that setting so if you wanted your machine to home to that corner over there at the front you would use um, $23 equals 2 because as on the table there um, 2 is it only inverts the y axis the, um, the last three digits are 0 1 0 and the second one, or the second digit, which is one, means that it's still inverting the y axis, but the x and the z are not inverted. So your z comes to the top, your x is all the way over there, and y is to the front. There are some other homing settings um, $24 up to $27. Now, I've left them as set by uh, Oosnest. They seem to be working for me, so um, why change them? The only thing that you will need to make sure you change is your invert mask, which is $23.